Hey guys, it's Ping and we got another really cool project bike for you today. We're out here at Kawea Creek and we met up with the guys from VetMX International and they joined partners with Kreft Moto to build you this 300 two-stroke 2023 model and uh, they wanted to build the ultimate vet weapon. And with this new fuel injection coming into these models this year, I thought this was the, you know, maybe the bike that blends old, old timers love of two strokes with the latest technology that make it easier to ride. And they went to the boys at Kreft who focused specifically on WP suspension. Uh, we've used their stuff multiple times before and they have some really trick technology. We're gonna have a separate video that goes over exactly what they do and why and how. So keep an eye out for that, but they do have like basically an internal system in this fork where you can change the valving externally. So you could make it soft enough to be uh, set up for off-road or stiffen it up enough to work for Supercross, all externally without breaking the fork open. So it's a really trick system. Uh, we'll go over that in the other video, but uh, let's have a look at this thing. Uh, so it is the 300 model and as such, I think does make a good vet bike guys want to have something they control can control a little bit and feel like it's not so big and heavy uh, have that fun and playfulness of a two-stroke and still be light enough they can control it and this this probably fits right into that window so obviously Kreft Moto handled the suspension front and rear and uh, they've got some really cool little things that they do talk about attention to detail man everything from and, and like I said you'll see in this other video just every little minute detail they touch everything the packaging they send it to you and it's just absolutely elite level stuff so they do a great job um, they match that up with a set of graphics from decal works that obviously showcases their vet mx international logo it's one of the longest running series in the country um, those guys have done a great job kind of rebranded it used to be old timers and uh, they've kind of gone to this new logo so still racing though thrill seeker seat we've got an fmf exhaust system front to back uh, we've got pro taper evo handlebars with ODI lock-on grips. They've got some Nihilo Concepts lever grip on the grips here, or on the levers, which is a, a touch that I like. I didn't even ask them to do that. They just put it on. Um, we've also got a W wheel set that has DID STX rims and uh, great looking black spoke with gold nipples and gold hub. It's, it's really classy looking. And then Dirt Tricks sprocket and Dirt Tricks rotors, and it's the black zinc rotor. I don't know if you've seen these. Uh, I've seen them before in photos, but never in person. Man, they're really cool looking. Just all black and really, for a black wheel set, really comes together nice, looks good. We got Raptor foot pegs in titanium, which are about as good as you can get. And then they've also got a DID gold chain on this thing. And that really rounds out the changes. We did take this thing to Twisted Development and had Jamie flash the uh, ECU with all of the work he's been doing. And he's put in a lot of hours getting Jeff Emig ready to go to Loretta's and all the other guys out here but done a lot of testing he and emig went through something like 60 some iterations of this map before they got it to where it is uh, because this two-stroke fuel injection is new there tends to be and you'll, you'll if you have one of these you'll notice this in certain throttle positions the thing will run up really lean it'll start to kind of wind up like it's it's really lean and then at times it can get rich when you get off the throttle and try to get back on it so there's there's definitely some issues and some growing pains with the fuel injection. And in fact, I've encouraged folks to stick with a carbureted bike if they're looking at a two stroke for right now, one of these, because I just think it's gonna be a couple years before they really have this thing dialed in. So I was excited to see the best that Jamie had come up with. Uh, Jeff Emig just raced this exact bike over in the UK. He raced it at Loretta Lynn's and obviously did really well on it. So I was curious to see, hey, how is this thing on the track? So. Let's get into it. Uh, starting with just the comfort of the bike, super comfortable. The seat was nice. Uh, got good gripper on the, on the top here so you're not sliding around. The ODI lock on half waffle grips in soft. This is like perfect for me. It's exactly what I like. Every vet rider's dream. It's got the grip donuts so I don't blister up. The lever grip from Nihilo Concepts, just super comfortable. The Raptor pegs, I've used these before, love them. Great platform. They're, they're a super hollow open design so mud will clear out. 
Uh, just everything about it, really, really nice. Uh, the suspension. So I've ridden with Kreft before. These guys do a great job, uh, like I said, of really, really high quality work and an insane amount of adjustability. Uh, so early in the day, we, we kind of got spun around on some sag. Our, our sag was a little too high. Uh, but once we got that sorted out, we got this thing working really, really well. And they have a really plush, soft feel, which for a vet rider, man, that's that's kind of what we're after, right? I think every every old guy can kind of feel that. Just my wrists and arms are sore at the end of the day. I don't, I don't want it to be super firm. I want it to be nice and Cadillac and, and get me through the bumps. And that's what that's what they did here. You have a ton of adjustment, not just your compression up top, but actually that revalve control on the bottom, which really lets you, I mean, it gives you a ton of range. So uh, like I said, we'll get into that in the technical video of how that works, but super effective for, for making changes. You do, we did, it is an air fork still. We didn't do a spring conversion or anything. So you have to check your air pressure. And we went up a couple pounds from what they recommend. But uh, once we got it working right, really comfortable, uh, super plush in that initial, but gobbled up the big bumps and landings well. So no issues whatsoever. Had a really comfortable feel. I could push hard on it. And uh, no surprises there though. Like I said, I've used these guys several times before and their stuff's great. The engine is where this bike was, was really interesting. And it, it took me a while. Like when I first went out, I had two maps, sort of a, a basic map that'll work for pump fuel and kind of whatever, this little safer. And then a more aggressive fuel. Uh, they use uh, a T2, fuel in here. Uh, we're an ETS uh, partner. We use a lot of their stuff. So um, today we didn't use that. We use their fuel because it's their bike. But you want to use like a high quality two stroke fuel like, like ETS if you're going to run this map. If you don't have it, you can switch to the other map. It's just a little more mellow. But with the more aggressive map, you definitely, it's more lively. It wasn't even close. I love that one way better. So um, in that map, this thing has a feel that's a lot like a four stroke. And depending on what you're after, you may love that or you may not, may not like that. Uh, for me, I thought, man, I, I want it to feel like a two stroke. I want to kind of, I want it to be exciting. I want the power to, to curve up and, and kind of get up and go when I want to go. And it's just a very linear power band. And if you think back to when four strokes first went to EFI, it was kind of the same thing. If you remember like the 09 Hondas and uh, the, the Suzuki's before that, the power was just very linear. There was nothing real exciting about it. Doesn't mean it's not making power or you can't do good lap times with it. In fact, quite the opposite. Sometimes you can be more consistent and smoother with it, but it just wasn't that exciting and that fun to ride. And that's kind of how I felt with this thing. Uh, you, it wanted to be short shifted. In fact, we thought we could probably drop a tooth on the rear because of the extra CCs, it'll, it'll really pull you, you know, it wants to be short shifted. Once you get this thing to a certain RPM, it just goes flat. Um, and that's, again, if you had a bike that's carbureted, you have a lot more room to adjust things. Uh, where here, you're basically making an ECU work for the stock exhaust. And then if you put the other exhausts on, they might help slightly, but it's, it, it's gonna be less of an improvement and you don't have the ability to go in and say, oh, it's a little lean here. Let me adjust this and I can fix that. You, you gotta go back and, and rework that ECU. So uh, we talked with Jamie. Jamie from Twisted Development was out here today and we chatted with him about it. And he said, they're working on it. He's got, his next step now will be to build an ECU map for engines that are built. He goes, right now, I just gotta get one that works for the stock bike. And he did. This thing works great. There's no funny pops, no weird, characteristics that it has it didn't bog on me fart on me pop on me one time today so that was maybe my biggest plus takeaway was that the throttle response is great and it's clean super clean uh, the downside is like i said no over rev so once you get to whatever the what the max is on the rpm it's done it does not pull it just goes flat it wants you to shift it wants you to short shift and then it's just not real exciting um, so depending on what you're looking for, if you are a vet rider who likes to just kind of lug it around and cruise, you'll love it. Uh, trail riding, I thought, man, for off-road, this is a really nice setup. You know, you could get in the woods and you're not, you know, in the woods or trails, you don't really want to be up in the RPMs ripping anyway. You kind of want to lug it and just throttle it. This is the perfect setup for that. Um, I just think that they've got a little ways to go with the development of this fuel injection and the two strokes to get it to where it's it's fun it's exciting um 
It's just a little bit linear right now. Uh, having said that, I had a blast on it. I was still able to have a good time. Like I said, there's, it's really nice to know if you're in a series of jumps or, or you just need to go and blip the throttle, it's there. It doesn't ever hiccup or, or pop anything on you. Uh, so there is that. I was wondering, you know, we did a 300 Yamaha uh, test with Twisted Development a couple years ago, and that bike was incredible. And I asked Jamie, I said, how do you think this bike would compare to that Yamaha 300? And he goes, I rode them back to back. He goes, and I actually liked this better because it was so easy to ride. Just very uh, mellow, very friendly. So I guess it kind of depends again on what you're after. For a vet weapon, this might be a great bike for you. I think for a higher level rider, you're gonna just want more out of it. And uh, it's gonna take a little time for them to get this there, maybe another year or two. But um, it is neat to see them putting development into this. I just think it's gonna take some time to get it right. So uh, we just built a Project 250, and you can go back through our Whiskey Throttle Media bike build collection and find that. And I'll tell you, I, I think that it, even though it's a 250, I think it's faster than this bike. Now, would the lap times be a lot different? Hard to tell, um, hard to tell, but it's just a much different feeling bike. So I had a blast riding it. It's a great machine, top to bottom, soup to nuts. Uh, just that EFI is a little different, and when you get one of these, you'll feel it. And I will tell you this, I don't know that you're going to like it in stock trim. Like I said, there's very lean and rich spots, depending on where you are in the throttle, the, the power valve, when it opens and shuts. There's just some, some lean and rich spots in there that you're going to feel. And right now, as far as I know, Twisted Development's the only company that really has the solution on the, on the flashing of this ECU. Uh, there may be others, but I know they have a good one because I wrote it today and it's great. So uh, anyway, really stoked on the way this thing looked. You know, it's 50th anniversary for both FMF uh, and for VetMX International. So that was the, this is kind of a 50th anniversary edition look, if you're wondering why the big 5.0. So uh, I really appreciate these guys giving us a ride on this bike. It was fun for me to experience it and work through uh, my first time on the EFI stuff. Like I said, I know the Kreft stuff works great. And uh, all the parts on here, really quality stuff. They did an awesome job building this. So big thank you to Vet MX International and Kreft and all, of, all the folks involved in this build. We had a blast. Um, and if you're looking for a race series, go check them out. And uh, I just wanna say, if you're appreciating what we're doing here, the content we're making here at Whiskey Throttle Media, uh, please like this, share it, subscribe to our channel. Uh, it'll help us grow and continue to bring you guys good stuff. We appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm. <laughs>